What's doing everyone? Uh, we now have Matsuri coming up real quick and the boys have decided they want to come now. So we have Josh and Jarvis in desperate, mad rushes to get things done. Uh, behind me here, I'll have a see. Jarvis is working on his 300ZX, trying to get that done. Uh, we have an LS going in this bad girl. Uh, he's almost done. Almost done. Uh, that's probably the fastest it's ever going to go. Yep. yep. <laughs> uh, and we have over here Josh's Crescita. So Josh is going to load this up on the dyno. Once he's uh, strapped down, we'll do a bit of a quick little talk about what's happened between last Matsuri and this Matsuri, what we need to do and where we're going. All right, so this is Josh. He's got a 1JZ Crescita cross seater Camry thing. I don't know what you want to call it, but it is what it is. The Grandad Mobile. Um, it's got a 1JZ, it's got stuff. He can tell you about that. I'll go around the other side of the camera. Uh, but long story short is went to Matsuri, uh, was all fine. BBTI cam got stuck on, had some detonation issues, and we've given it a birthday. So we're back on the dyno now. I'll flick around the camera on the other side and we can ask him questions and he can tell us all about it. All right, let's go to the car, that way. <laughs> that way? Tell us what you've done and what you've got and why. We'll start with why. <laughs> I melted it. To be honest, I melted it. Um, there was nothing left from my pistons. They were completely gone. I detonated the hell out of my head and completely destroyed it. Um, so it's gotten a full birthday. It's a complete rebuild, forged bottom ends, uh, CP pistons, a new Pulsar G-Series. This bully boy? This bully boy. Yeah, G-Series what? G-Series uh, G3770. Sick. Uh, I've decided to go E85 this time. Uh, brand new 1650cc injectors, all new E85 pumps. Everything else that was melted, destroyed, broken, has been replaced. We're here ready to start again. All right, so we've got Haltech. Uh, as you said, all this stuff's all been done. Uh, we've also put in a wide band this time as well. Uh, yep. So we can keep it on AFRs. Um, and that's really about it. Everything else is pretty much the same. Yeah. Uh, so we're gonna get stuck in and do some tuning. All right, so we're just in the Haltech here. Josh is out there fixing an oil leak. It's fast period yellow out there, there we go. Uh, Josh is out there fixing an oil leak. Um, trying to see where my mouse is on the screen at the same time, but he has already done. Uh, here we go, 1650 cc injectors, 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 uh, and fixed the dead time so he can start it and run it. Uh, we have also, well, he has at home because he's running the wide band. He can see live, so he's just played around with just this section here, uh, just to make sure we can idle and get it on the trailer. So this looks a little bit ugly at the moment, but I'll fix up to. Well, probably just on the boost here. I'll probably just get on the boost. Uh, have a fix up in this map for 98, uh, just to run the motor in and we'll drop the oil and then we'll flush through the E85, but this is basically at the moment just to run the 98 in. Uh, somehow, Josh in his wisdom, we'll go back to the ignition base, more here. Uh, through here, he must've been in the wrong map or the computer did something weird uh, and all the ignition timing in this base uh, idle area changed. So I fixed all that up. Uh, now it idles nicely and does what it should do. Oh, that's a Jarvis. Um, and we're just waiting for old mate out there to fix his oil leak. And once he's fixed the oil leak, we'll go back through to our base target and hopefully we can get our AFRs on the money and not be here too late. It says he's all ready to go. Huh? This is probably oil leak fix attempt number four. And it's not ready to go. And we're at 20 to seven. <laughs> All right, so we've just got, oh, we've got Fast and Furious mode going on again. Uh, we've got Josh's fan, or Josh's car run in and done. We've got a couple of issues. We'll turn this off here. And then we'll hop out of the car. Ugh. What's our issues, Josh? Oh, you're not mic'd up. Either. Oh. Where are we again? What's our issues? I'm buying an issue, I'm a dickhead. Yes. I plug the fans in backwards. So fans are in the wrong polarity or going backwards, so we're blowing the wrong way, pushing against that fan and trying to push that fan, that fan. So if we fix one of the fans, one might be a bit toast. Uh, we've got an oil leak from the oil cooler still. Yeah. Um, but otherwise, it's run in. Um, I didn't, there's no graph for power or anything, we're just running it in uh, on 98. So he'll fix the misfire, we need some plugs because it's got a misfire. Uh, we clean them, but they're fouled out. Uh, need to sort out some fans. Now, so his oil leak. We'll empty the drain. Oh, sorry, empty the drain. Empty the fuel tank, yeah. and we will put the 85 in. Flush that through. Get it running on the 85. It'll keep our um, cylinder temps down, which will keep our oil cooling temps down, and we can start tuning. Thank you, 
Alan. We'll come back to this. Eventually. <laughs> One eternity later. And we're back. So it's been a couple of days, maybe a week. I don't know where we're at. Uh, we've had some issues with Josh's car. He's had oil leaks, he's had the water leaks, and then he found out that his radiator had a, a crack in one of the cores, tubes, whatever you want to call it, uh, from a bolt going through holding the fan on. So he's got a new radiator coming, but we've just patched this one up. He had, oh, and the fan blew up, so we've got a new fan on it, and he's actually inside there now doing stuff now. So we'll go and find out what he's done, how he's done it, and hopefully we can get it tuned tonight. Round two. Final round. Final round. Final. Alright, so what It'll are we work this time? What are we doing? I've just said we've got a little bit of a leak in your radiator. We do. But it's, it's, it's a drip. It, it's, it. it's a drip, not a drop. Yep. Um new radiator's on its way, but we won't see it for another week. Okay, so uh, which is we're a week away from Matsuri. Yes, it arrives the day before Matsuri. Oh sick. Uh oil lines are fixed, so no more oil leaks on my ground hopefully. Things Coolant drops. line was keeping oil keeping on water temperatures and water levels. Uh, you're just hooking up boost T there so we can see what we're doing for boost. Uh -huh. Have you changed fuel? Tank strain at the moment. Okay, so what are we putting in? E85. Okay. So we're going to E85. We're going to start tuning. See how we go. Hope for the best. Hope for the best. So while we did have issues the other day, I got a rough idea and base tuning of the 98. So we just basically run the, uh, or in the car in. Since then, I hope, I believe, he has done an oil change. He's done an oil change? Hi. Done an oil change? So he's done an oil change, he's done an oil filter change, so now it's got new clean oil in it. Uh, we've got E85 going in it, he's got water and coolant in it, got oil in it, so we should be good to go. Hopefully we have no issues, we can knock this out in an hour like it took me for my car, not four hours like it took last time, and we'll see how we go. So we're just loading in, look at that light, it's a beamer light, we're just loading in the E85 in his fuel cell in the back. Are we allowed to have mobile phones near fuel cells? I don't know. Should be right. <laughs> so we'll uh, load this up, run it up, we'll get it hot, flush through the extra uh, E90, well E98, 98 that was in the surge tank, and we'll get in the tuning. All right, so we're just in the car, the fans just turned on now. So we've just been sitting in the car, um, basically just, I've got a lot of cleaning up to do through the map here, but um, we were just in the car, we're just getting it to idle, get it up to temperature. Uh, just keeping an eye on everything on here, basically just getting it warmed up and once we get it warmed up I'll start getting to the load cells and we'll do the off boost uh, tuning and then we'll start laying into it and doing the uh, on boost tuning. I'll just go into our uh, boost control and I'll turn that off basically and we'll uh, get on gate pressure and go from there. So I'll get stuck into this. Alright, so we have a bit of a play. We're just about to start getting on boosts now. Uh, we've got in a bit of a graph mode here. We've got Josh here, pumped. Go this way. Nervous poos? A little nervous. Nervous poos? A little nervous. Uh, I just had a bit of a run and we sort of get into the 5 or 10 pound mark and it was and it was okay having it at 5 or 10 pound. So we're going to run up in there. Uh, I'll do a couple of little runs and make sure everything's right here. Then I'll get Josh to do a, a video of the dyno run. Keep you occupied. See if it works. <laughs> Alright, so Josh is over there filming at me, looking at me, looking at him. Um, we've done a bit of a run in it already, so I'll run it up again now while we're videoing. Uh, you can see where we're at with power and boost. I have turned the boost controller off, so it's going to be okay. So let's clear this screen and it stops. All right, so let's tidy up the fuel map a little bit. We're on about 11.9 pounds, which is what I've seen on here as well. Uh, and my AFRs, I can go a little bit more through mid-range. So a little bit more through mid-range, a little bit. We're not unsafe, we're at 0.87 instead of 0.85. Um, so the magic question is, Josh, we're on 11, what did I say, 11.5, 11.6 pounds. How many pay drops do I do? We'll see what it'll do at 15. Alright, so if I go into our boost control here and we give this 100% down low and we give this 
I think last time we had it about 50%. I don't know if we're going to need that. Um, this turbo is a lot more responsive than the last yeah. one. So I might put that at 50, we'll put that at 40. So it's a bit hard. This isn't a target boost. This is a, a what do we call it? A duty, a duty cycle on the boost controller. So when we get to about that 14 pound mark, we need to start tapering it off. So I'll dive, dive this down now, back down to the zero mark pretty much, um, and see if we can try and catch it around that 15 pound mark. I might put that down to 20 even and then try and catch it a bit quicker. Um, I'm happy to go to the moon, but Josh isn't. So <laughs> uh, let's see where that goes. I've just done a bit of a, a play. It should come on a little bit harder and it should i'll back off if it goes i'll put my boost cut on boost cuts on 25 so I put boost cut on 20 pound yeah it's on e85 we've got stock timing uh we've got heaps of fuel so we should be fine but i don't we don't want to do big jumps let's do little jumps here so all right so we've just had a play with the uh with the boost controller we should we're targeting uh what am i talking i forgot what i'm targeting uh, open boost. Uh, so, with, like I said, with the game pressures that we were doing before, we're targeting it around that um, 15 pound mark, and I've tapered it off to zero after that. So, we'll try and get it up to that 15 pound mark and run up and see where it's at. Run that up. My target was 15 pound, and we got 15 pound. Um, so we worked well there. Uh, where are we? Yeah, so we're, yeah, I've sort of hit that 15 pound mark, uh, and we've got 278 kilowatts, 475 newton meters of torque. So now the magic question again is, Josh, how many numbers do we go up? How far do we send it? Uh, we spoke. Well, you were spoken to me prior to all this, and we you ran 24 pound. I think you said. 24 last time. So we ran 24 pound last time on E on 90, uh, 98. We're in E85 now, still got stock timing in here, so we can play with a bit of timing. What if, so we wear this, we, what if we sort of target 18 pound? And so I'll give this a little bit more gain up top here. We'll target the 18 pound mark, and then call, see where that gets us. If that gets us to the 300 kilowatt mark, I think we should be pretty close and then we can play with some timing just up top. So we can try and keep it up top and no, cause you've got stock rods in this thing still. Um, so we'll do nothing down low. It's coming on boost hard. Like we're on full boost at four grand. Um, so it's gonna be funny on the road to drive. It's gonna be really responsive. It's gonna be so much more fun to drive than last time. Yeah. And this may change the track for us as well. I may have to turn this game down try and slow the boost down. So it'll be the seat of your pants thing while we'll just take a laptop out and have a play. Um, but on dyno, we'll chase power. We'll know where our map is. We'll know we're safe. And um, we can play on the road after that. We can always move. All right, well, I'll have some play with some numbers here and you can go and do your pants and change your undies. See what happens. See what happens. We'll be back. All right, so I've just had another play with the um, boost control map. Uh, we're going to try and get that 18 pounds still around that. We're trying where it tapers up, just trying to tone that down a little bit so we don't go 20 down to 18 and get away. We're trying to get a nice flat line. So I've had a bit of a control of the gains here, uh, and we should be able to get where we're at. Um, see how we go. Sounds good and healthy, which is nice. Well, I can tell you some good news. It made 302 kilowatts. My keyboard's not reaching. Um, 
302 kilowatts are on 17.7 pound. Uh, and again, we still haven't touched timing. So we're just under 18 pound. It's a lot flatter line, the old word linear for YouTubers. Um, and I think we should probably leave it there. If you're happy, you're 400 horse, that's 400 horsepower. That's 400 horsepower. 400 horsepower, stock timing, E85, 17 and a half, 18 pound. It's way safer than, well, last time we thought it was safe. Yeah. This is safer. <laughs> uh, so I think we chase a little bit more. I'm just watching the boost map and the, um, AFR scene. We might just jump out of the car, we'll have a look at the, at the dynograph and what's on power talk. Are we action? Action. We're action. <laughs> right, so uh, I'll just change the map over to power over torque. Uh, so we can see it comes up nice and hard. I've, I've, I've turned the torque down so you can see we're at a thousand peak here, but uh, so you can see it, it holds, but here we just start to fall over. What's that, you know, for five and a half, six grand, just starts to fall over. And our power about six grand, so it sort of falls over as well. So what we're gonna do now is page up, <laughs> three or four, <laughs> three or four times, uh, and just see if we get a bit of timing here, and see if that can sort of not keep going, but just hold um, up here in this area of the world where safe for a bit of timing. It's coming on really hard. It's making good power, good torque. Um, I think we can get a little bit more out of it. Maybe if I throw a number around, maybe 30, 40 horsepower, something like that. Um, pretty easily without going too hardcore on it and keep this motor tame and safe and reliable. It's not a, you know, Formula Drift car where we're going to be leaning on it. I think it's, if you can make that 450 horsepower on low boost, low timing, I think we'll be good. Try not to punish it too much. Let's page up. <laughs> All right, so we start this back up uh, in my ignition map from about that five and a half grand mark uh, at 15 pound or so up. I've put in three degrees of timing. So we'll see where that goes. Um, Josh will be over there pulling his pants, but he'll be all right. Three degrees isn't enough to where you want to be, Josh. And we can put more in. That's good news for you. Good news for me. It's not good for me. Did you say? It's good news for you and me. We made more power, we made more torque. Um, I'll have to see what boost it's making. Um, but we might, because with more timing, we probably we lose a bit of boost. So we might, we're up there. Uh, righto. So I wonder if we make this, I found the problem Josh, um, I found a problem, so I'll fix that problem. We need a little bit more timing down here, so that's fine, we can make that happen. And we'll put a little bit more in it, and we'll make some more power. We'll do that. Do that. Alright, let's go again. We'll just keep filming. Yeah. made more which is where we want to be I think we leave the timing up top where it is and it's gonna fall over but I'll just give you a little bit more down a little bit lower here and we can probably call it at that what do you reckon Sounds that's good to me. we're at 318 kilowatts 320 kilowatts get your calculator out what's 320 kilowatts I think that's the number you want all right so boss man over there he's made the executive decision that um, this will be our last run. We're making 420 horsepower. 420 horsepower? You can keep that running. 
420 horsepower making, is that what we said? Huh? We're making 420? 420, 420, 426. Yeah. Uh, so we're making 420 horsepower, 318 kilowatts, 530 newtons of torque. I've just had a play with the timing again, just up top, mid range, just try and get something nice everywhere for him. I'm not chasing big timing numbers, we're not chasing detonation, we're not chasing stupid numbers, 18 pound or just under. Uh, I think, yeah, I think he's right. We'll have that timing there. We'll see where it goes, see what it does. And um, I think we'll just leave it at where it is. Safe, reliable, fun. Yeah. Let's do it, Josh. So the gerbil, death click, death click bloody model, whatever you want to call him. Uh, hi, mum. <laughs> hello. hello. Mum says hello. Mum wants to know if I can get insurance to be on the track. No. No. That's no. why you sign the waiver. That's the waiver. You sign in. your life away, no. just like you sign your life away with me today. Yeah. So for those that don't know, Jarvis is now owned by me. There's going to be a tattoo of my name on his ass. <laughs> I'll, let him go, I'll let him go talk to his mum. Um, so, <laughs> uh, so Josh, so when we come in, we'll go back to, so pink line, we'll look on the screen in a second. The pink line is we finally got your gate pressure because someone did something wrong. Someone plumbed the gate the wrong way? Yes. So our gate was plumbed in the wrong way by someone and it went 30 pound. I turned boost controller off, it still went 30 pound. So. He plumbed the gate in the right way and uh, I turned everything off and we sat on about 11 and a half, 12 pound. So 11 and a half, 12 pound, I'll flick the camera around here. 11 and a half, 12 pound. We made 265 kilowatts, 350 new meters. Uh, nice linear curve, nice linear curve there, so it's all good. Um, then we started winding up, as you've seen previously, and we are now at 17 and a half pound, or 17 and eight, I think 17 and eight. Yeah. Let's call it 18 pound because there's a number. Um, it's a little bit warm in here still, like it's, what is the time is it now, 7.30 o'clock? Uh, yeah, 7.30 o'clock. 7.30 o'clock. Still 30 degrees. Uh, it's still 30 degrees in, in the workshop, that's the temperature probe in the workshop. Uh, our intake air temps were only 40 degrees when I was watching, so intercool is working well. Uh, our air, sorry, our water temps were about 80, 85, so it, even though the radiator's got a little bit of a dribble, it's still working. And we sort of upped the boost, so I said to about 17 and a half, 18 pounds. We put a little bit more timing into it. Uh, a little bit mid-range and top end. The efficiency of the turbo is what's letting us down. So I'll show you the screen where and why. Um, so I added timing in from basically sort of here up, and, but you can see that our torque was still coming down. So our turbo, he has got a little turbo on here, a little baby turbo. Um, it is a G series, G30 660, he believes. I think it's the 660. We, we did say this earlier in another video, but we'll from, work it out. From memory. It's one of them. Uh, so the efficiency of it is starting to taper off. So. We can chase more boost, we can get this going up higher and doing things, but I don't think it's worth it. Um, you've got your 400 and what do we say? 400 and 432 horsepower. 430 horsepower and 550 newton meters of torque. Yeah. Um, I think it's going to be a whole lot of fun, probably 1,000, 1,500 RPM earlier, earlier than what your previous power. combo was. We're down six PSI from what your previous combo was. Mm -hmm. And the timing, I think I put about four or five degrees and by the end of it, I, I sort of just took it out and got some more, I got some more here and just sort of let that go where it was. Um, so I think that's a wrap from us. What's your thoughts? Have you changed your undies a few times? I've changed them a couple of times. I'm a yep. bit sweaty, but the motor I built held up. It works. The tune's gone well. Done. I just can't wait to drive it now. Yep. All right, that's it from us. Um, hit that like, hit subscribe. If you're into this sort of stuff and you want to see more of Josh's thing, let me know and we'll do, a, we can even do a project battles. We can do Josh versus me again uh, in drift cars. And uh, let me know what you think. If you like the 1JZ stuff or you hate it, let us know. Uh, and we'll go over here in a second. We'll see what Jarvis is doing. He's got some good news over Everybody's there too. Everybody's got to like 1JZ stuff. Nobody does. Everybody does. <laughs> what about a granddad car? It's a great motor. The granddad car. Hey, it'll do the job. Do the job. All right, that's it from us. Talk to you soon.
What's wrong? Oh, this is a video. This is a video. <laughs> <laughs> What? Okay, we have this here. Yeah. And we have this. Yeah, look. We have this here. Okay, for anyone asking questions, this was the mock up motor. Okay, so this is just a fake one? And this one was on order. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I have photos, I'll load them in here <laughs> uh, of why it was a Sunday motor. Yeah. Why is it a Sunday motor, Jarvis? I don't know. Why is it a Sunday motor? Because it's holy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, that's fine. Yeah. Okay, so uh, this motor will go. We won't call it who did what and why. Uh, yeah. it's, it's a grey area. It's a grey area? Yeah. So it's too, a grey area. Too many hands on one thing. Too many monkeys. Too many monkeys. <laughs> too many monkeys. Too many monkeys between Jarvis, his mates, previous owner. Uh, don't know. We didn't pull the heads off. Uh, hindsight, one of those things. Uh, he found it was leaking oil out the exhaust and it was running. Uh, I said one or two things gonna be a valve guide slash uh, seal, or we've got piston problems. Turns out it's the latter, and he has a hole in his piston. Um, something's been bouncing around in there. We'll soon find out when we pull the sump off if it was a monkey problem or another monkey problem. Well, either way, it was in there. It's in there, yeah. yeah so. Uh, so, yeah, so we'll work out what's going on, uh, but we've got another motor. We've got Matsuri in 10 days. 10, 10 days. days. 10 days. 10 days. Uh, oh, camera there. So let's so. call this Matsuri Prep. Matsuri Prep 2.0 or 3.0? I'll film over the weekend me going from this to running. Yeah, let's do that. Let's see yeah. where you get with that. We did have a video of it driving out the driveway and back in, a bit smoky. Yeah. But we'll see. No, it did make a, la like a full lap around the block. Yep. So. On seven cylinders. On seven, seven cylinders. cylinders. Right, well, I'm going home. You're doing stuff because you're under the rule that this has to be done by Saturday. Sunday. Sunday? Sunday. I said Saturday. Oh. We'll go with Sunday. I'll give you a bit of grief. It'll of be in by Saturday. Okay. Running by Sunday. Running by Sunday. So Monday when I come back lap in. Around the block, lap around the block. Lap around the block. Sunday afternoon. And reef Matsuri. Ready for it. Righto. Say bye, Jarvis. Goodbye.